Hey, what's up guys? This is Kaji and today's video is a recap of the Dragon Ball Fighters Tournament Finals and also we're going to talk about in this video the Dragon Ball fighting game community coming together as a whole, what needs to happen and what has to stop. And we'll also analyze the Goku and Vegeta trailer, not like full in depth, just talk about the moves that I see and hopefully if you enjoy this video you will support Dragon Ball Fighters because there's a lot of people in this chat that don't really like Dragon Ball Fighters, but they show up to every stream. So, first, I want to talk about the Dragon Ball Tournament Finals. Now, this Tournament Finals was a little bit good and bad. Like, it had, it had some good and bad elements. The bad element was that, okay, you got two competitors right here. Uh, you got T-Bone and then you got... That, that, land, that name is just like crazy. It's crazy long. Meso Feliz. I'm just gonna call him Meso. So you got him. And he's he's the guy with the shaved head. I got a bro! You got him and you got the other guy, uh, Tony Montana. And this guy like T-Bone basically. Tony Montana. When asked when he win the tournament, and it's, this was like the scene the whole tournament. These guys literally say I don't think I can win. This guy's a little bit better. And uh, we'll just see if I can, you know, at least try to win one round. And the other guy was like, the one with the uh, shaved head, um, Meso, he was like, I'm taking the trophy home. And as soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, he's taking the trophy home. I try to have, I try to have a little bit of faith for T-Bone, but when you walk into a fight or when you walk into a decision already defeated it's really hard for other people to support you so it's like he dug his own grave you'll see what happened at the end of the uh, rounds but i don't like that about not just the fighting game community i don't like that about the dragon ball community don't walk in defeated if you're not that great at something i understand you know but you can make it like i would have said to this hey god uh, I'm not really that great at this game, but I'm going to take on the title if he slips up. He didn't say that either. It's just like, I'm just not confident that I can win. But before that, he was very confident. I don't know. It was said these guys had a friendly rivalry in some other game, but it was like, I'm not seeing the rivalry. You clearly said this guy is better. So he did say that he'll come back later and at the next turn and hopefully pick up the win. So. You know, I'm not really mad at the guy. I'm just, I don't like that. Like, I don't like the modesty. If you gotta be a little bit cocky, hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. So, I don't like that about the community. I hope that stops, because if I ever make it to these tournaments, if I ever, uh, you know, practice and put that much work in the game. Like, this guy, he put in work. If you look at all this gameplay, it's straight fire. Like, it's no... You know, dead matches where it's like, oh, this guy's just dominated. It's even though he, you know, was a little bit unconfident, he still put in work. So I'm not mad at the guy. But hopefully, I make it to these tournaments. And when I make it to these tournaments, and I get on that stage. I'm not talking crap, but I'm not being one of those guys that just constantly have this down the head, like, oh, I'm on a bigger stage. So that means that. I gotta play different. Look, you're on the bigger stage, the stage is bigger, but that just makes it that much better. Like when you win, now you are fighting for something. Now all that practice that you put in actually means something. But I don't know, I have to, I'll have to see when I get there. Uh, the Dragon Ball community got fucking stomped out. Like, uh, we had a couple of Dragon Ball people that just said they just play Dragon Ball games. They came in there. I was looking at these guys like body language and they were like, we getting stomped out. So, you know, they got stomped out. And honestly, just was like, where is the beta? Because I need to get in there and show these guys that Dragon Ball fan does not mean that you can't put in work. But these guys weren't doing it. So, this guy, laser focused. So, I'm going to give it up to uh, Meso Felice. That dude is just like laser focused. He didn't talk too much trash. He just went there and bought it. So, Although I mean, I'm joking around, but he did. He go. He, he went in there. He just like put in work. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take anything away from this guy. The T-Bone 
got he did put up some you know some nice combos and he did do very well but you walked in defeated you got defeated now the next part is i want to talk about these fucking trolls i'm just sick of these guys in the twitch chats in the youtube section i know you can't get rid of them because they're always going to be there but my god will you guys just zip it and go away we are sick of you guys like the whole stream was like Xenoverse is better than this. And I know it's like it's to get that conversation because you need an icebreaker, but motherfucker, I'm sick of hearing that every fucking stream. Can you talk about something else? And then you have some of your Xenoverse people are like, why is this even here? Oh, and those people that actually just think that Xenoverse is better. If you think Xenoverse is better, go play it. Stay away from the game. We don't need you. But you have those people. And then if you didn't have those people, you had people just like spamming irrelevant comments about Yamcha and Krillin. And that stuff. Cool on Twitter feed or somewhere else in the YouTube comment section. But stay away from a competitive fighting game atmosphere. You are not helping the community because you're not bringing anything to it. It's like no discussion, straight troll comments, LOL, the same old stuff. And to be honest, it's just getting really fucking old. But, I want you guys to know this. Dragon Ball Fighters is a pretty deep game. The, com the combos that these guys are pulling off were not some beginner stuff. You cannot go in this game and button mash and hope to beat these guys. These fighting game guys, although they have the background, that's not the reason why they won. They just string combos better. They just blocked a little bit more. Uh, the Dragon Ball fans didn't seem to know how to push the block button. So... Might be one of those Xenoverse things, like you don't push block in Xenoverse, you just spam. So they were on back trigger repeat, super attacks, and key blast. So I, I don't know. Hope, hopefully this stuff gets a little better in these tournaments, start to look a little bit better, and we get some better players in. Because these guys suck. Some of them. But we are going to analyze this trailer. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Dragon Ball Fighters gameplay. Hopefully you guys want to see more. And hopefully you guys are going to pick up the game and at least give it a chance. If you're not, I'm sorry, maybe you have to wait to Xenoverse 3 or whatever game you're looking forward to, but just stop being haters. It's not helpful. I'll see you guys in the gameplay, trailer, reaction, and we are fighting in 2018. Listen to this Epic trailer. Uh, next year, when Dragon Ball comes out, I will play Aggregate Grinded with my local gaming community in that game. And uh, with the guys over Hardage, this is a German fighting game forum. So I will grind it to endlessly. I love Dragon Ball really much. And it's a fantastic game, am I right? Did you enjoy playing this game? Yeah, I enjoyed it really, really. Champion, one of the first for Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back. You cannot literally tell me that was not hype. That trailer was fucking epic. And anybody, and I've seen the people in the Twitch chat, these Xeno Cancers and these, uh, you know, trolls, whatever you want to call them, I'm sick of these guys. Constantly bashing everything. Didn't even see the characters, we're already saying uh, clones, skins, all this stuff. You didn't even look at the characters. Shut the fuck up and stare at the comments. And also stay out of Twitch chat. But literally in this gameplay trailer, Go Goku and Vegeta play different, exactly like they said. 
They didn't say that they don't have similar combo strings. They said that they play different. Vegeta, instead of having Final Flash, they actually tricked you. He actually got a new Gallic gun. And he also got the little punch scene. The first time that's ever been in the game. He actually got it. When you speculate and it actually is the right thing. That is when you know a game is going to be epic. With the Goku combo, they've added some new kicks. Like, they actually didn't just, you know, okay, we'll just throw him some new punches and kicks and just make them look all weird and stuff. They actually look pretty cool. And then, he also has the Kaioken Kamehameha as his level 3, and it is freaking awesome. Even Vegeta has this punch as his level 3. And it's not copy and paste, it's fucking epic. And this right here, they added an extra part to it just to make it that much epic. He actually connected with the punch that he would have hit, hit with if hit wasn't fast. So, guys, stop this. Alright, now, I'm going to address uh, Xenoverse fans. You know, at, at this point, guys who like Xenoverse... I'm subscribed from the channel. I hate the game. I'm pretty much done with the series. And also, just stay away from my channel. And if I see you in my lobbies in Dragon Ball Fighters, or if I see you in my comment section, you're banned. Because I'm sick of the hate. If you don't like the game, that's very well fine. But I'm sick of the negativity in the comment section. I'm just sick of trolling. It's not funny anymore. Guys, get your shit together. I'm sick of it. This trailer was awesome to me. If you don't share the same opinion, let me know in the comment section below. I always give you the option to leave an opinion, but I am not going to entertain stupidity. If you just saying stupid, irrelevant things, I'm deleting your comment on the spot. But if you have anything to say and you just generally think that this trailer was not that great, explain and I might conversate with you if you're being reasonable the beta will be out September the 16th if you get a cold and you happen to make it in and you're lucky participate in the beta and join the hype if you don't get a cold and you really want to play this game Wait for 2018, because we are fighting in 2018. Your wish has been granted. Until next time. Fair. Well. Kaio Kaaaaat! I won't forgive you. You stole my gun! And you killed my family! Oh, I'm pissed now. I'm really serious now. I won't forgive you!